Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve Lund and in today's video we're going to talk about how glycine and N-acetylcysteine supplementation can extend the lifespan of mice by up to 24%. Make sure you click a like and subscribe as well for future videos about optimizing your health and performance. Do it! So we have this uh, relatively new study in March 2022. Uh, Glynac, glycine and N-acetylcysteine supplementation in mice increases length of life by correcting glutathione deficiency, oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, abnormalities in mitology, and uh, nutrient sensing and genomic damage. Basically uh, discovered that uh, giving mice Glynac supplementation or glycine and N-acetylcysteine, uh, these, those mice live 24% longer than the control mice. And they also saw improvements in glutathione synthesis, glutathione deficiency, oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, mitophagy, nutrient sensing, and uh, genomic damage. So uh, Glynac, Glynac supplementation is uh, already known to have some positive benefits in humans as well. For example, let's take HIV patients. Uh, Glynac supplementation improves oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, inflammation, endothelial dysfunction, insulin resistance, genotoxicity, strength, and cognition. Uh, Glynac supplementation in older adults includes glutathione deficiency, oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, inflammation, insulin resistance. Uh, so it's almost like identical uh, improvements and results. And uh, there's also things that, the, you know, the glutathione deficiency, which is quite relevant to overall uh, aging and uh, immunity and those kind of things can be also uh, corrected or improved with uh, NEC and glycine supplementation. Wow, winning! So let's look at some of the methods of this study. Uh, they basically had uh, mice who were fed an ad libidum diet, regular diet, protein consisted 25.6%. And three kilocalories per gram of body weight and at the age of 65 weeks one group of the 16 mice eight males and eight females were switched to a diet supplemented with glycine and acetylcysteine they still got protein 23.5 percent three calories per gram and they got 1.6 milligrams of NAC and 1.6 milligrams of glycine the glynac supplemented diet was isocaloric and isonitrogenous to the regular diet consumed by the control group of 16 mice. So it, which means that the same amount of calories and the same amount of uh, protein, uh, roughly speaking, and everything else was the, in, in kind of the same in terms of diet. The only difference was that the one group got the glycine and the NAC uh, together. And these doses of uh, glycine supplement and NAC were chosen to approximate doses of glynac used in clinical trials in humans. So they got approximately the same amount of a glycine and NSE as humans would um, in, uh, in, in these trials that have been proven to be beneficial, improving the mitochondrial function and those kind of things. And I did kind of uh, calculations as well, so like a mouse we weighs somewhere between like 20 grams, uh, then uh, they would get like 40 milligrams of, uh, a bit less, like 35 to 40 milligrams of glycine and NSE per day. No, that's a lot of damage! So as you can see, the mice who were fed the regular diet lived about like 24% shorter than the mice who got the Glynac diet. And you can see just these graphs compare uh, that um, after this threshold, the uh, mice who were started to get glycine and NAC just lived uh, longer. They also found that the control mice who didn't get uh, glycine and NAC, they had 69%, 65%, and 72% less glutathione in the heart, liver, and kidneys. And uh, the concentrations of reduced glutathione concentrations were 75%, 64%, and 81% uh, lower in the same organs, respectively. So they basically had much lower levels of glutathione. And glutathione is uh, considered to be the most important antioxidant in the body produced by the liver that regulates the immune system and uh, antioxidant defense against oxidative stress and a lot of the you know reasons why you age and develop these different kinds of um, age-related diseases is because of excessive oxidative stress and uh, DNA damage and all those things that come from that. And glutathione is one of the like shields against that. With low glutathione, with low antioxidant status, your uh, ability to cope with the world or to resist the oxidation and the oxidative stress of the world will be greatly lower. Whereas, and if you do boost uh, your glutathione levels with glycine and NAC, then it's going to be you know, very beneficial for that. And, uh, you know, glyc the reason why glycine and NAC specifically have this positive effect on glutathione is that 
they're one of the main um, components of glutathione and precursors. Glycine supplementation has also been found to extend lifespan in uh, male and female mice by 4 to 6 percent and uh, by up to uh, 20 to 40 percent in uh, other rats by mimicking uh, methionine restriction. So uh, glycine is one of the, let's say, helps to detoxify methionine toxicity and helps to counteract the uh, you know, harmful effects of excess methionine intake on uh, aging and uh, it's uh, one of the few amino acids that uh, many people aren't getting enough of. They do get the whole lot of methionine from like muscle meat and those kind of things but they don't really get uh, glycine that much which is why I think like almost like anyone could benefit from uh, taking some glycine especially if we're eating like a high methionine diet and I'm personally taking glycine on a daily basis it's one of it, it is probably like one of my top favorite Supplements, it's uh, very cheap, it's very easy to find, it's uh, yeah safe, there's no like, real uh, harmful effects uh, to that. You can get up to doses of you know, 10, 20 grams even with no side effects. You, you can get it from Jello, <laughs> you can get it from these tendon meats and those kind of things. Um, and yeah, I personally aim for like yeah, 5 to 10 grams, uh, usually stick around like 5 uh, and on some other days I'll go up to like 10 grams. And it's good for sleep, good for uh, glutathione, good for immunity, good for methionine, good for inflammation levels, helps to lower blood sugar levels, protects against oxidative stress. So uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see a reason why you wouldn't want to take a glycine almost. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that? All right, that's it for this video. If you want to check out all the other supplements that I'm taking, what amounts, when and how often, then check out my free supplement list. You can head over to seamlan.com forward slash supplements and you can get it for free. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seam. Stay optimized, stay empowered.